All right, here we go. <laughs> it took me a little while to start recording this, but I have box. Now this isn't sun and moon. I mean, it's got some sun and moon stuff, but it's not the box. This is just why I used to store like my Pokemon cards and stuff like that. And I was going to make this video. This was going to be part of my recent Scarlet video, which I could, didn't do because it was over 43 minutes long. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to make this video over an hour for like half of it to be like just me showing off my Pokemon cards. So I decided, you know, what? I'm just going to make it a separate video and here it is. And honestly, yeah. So first off is Miss Magius. <laughs> yeah, got I have a Miss Magius card, which is what I'm gonna have in Scarlet here eventually. So yeah, we got I'm gonna have a Miss Magius. It's gonna be cool. Miss Magius being my favorite ghost type. I like Miss I like Mischievous and Miss Magius, I do. Now of course we got Serena. <laughs> my main in whenever I play Unite, even though you know I you see me like playing other characters, Serena is my number one though. Also my favorite grass type, period. One of the Pokemon I have in my s definitive team, which I have in Sword, which I don't play anymore. And my 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 stuff in Sword kind of just exists. And we got Miss Drevis, of course. Can't have Miss Vagius without Miss Drevis. Now, this is currently what I have. One of the Pokemon I have in my Scarlet team. Again, I love the evolution line. I really do. And we got Shuppet. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. One that's extremely underrated. Like, sure, it's not great. But it's it's adorable. I don't like Bennett. Though I don't like Bennett, I like Shuppet though. Uh, here we get a new card. Nimona. Yeah, I'm good. I got Nimona. Well, not me necessarily. No, my si my sister got Nimona and just decided. You know what? I'm gonna trade. And I traded. So I ended up getting the Nimona. <laughs> and yeah. I got I have Nimona. I just gotta wait for Iona for an Iono trainer. The Guard of our Spirit Link for, which is I have this because you're obviously gonna see you soon enough. Mommy Clara. Yes, I called her Mommy Clara. Don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, got Mommy Clara. I, I really fucking love Clara. I really do. Deerling. Another one of my favorites. In fact, this Deerling is actually my favorite... Dealing form like the seasons technically do count as forms for Deerling, so but they do, but they don't. It's weird. Lucky Ice Pop again, it's just a normal trainer, nothing really to talk about. Glimwood Tangle again, nothing really worthy to talk about. Same with this thing. Not really worth talking about. 
Rescue carrier, nothing to talk about there. And then uh, several energies. Again, they're energies, so there's nothing to talk about. Alright, the Zoroa. Uh, I personally hate Zoroark as a Pokemon in general. I just don't like Zoroark, but I do like Zoroa. I just like Zoroa's design. Zoroark's is kind of fucking lame. Tynamo. It's time. It's Tynamo. I took out one of these things in my Scarlet video. Like. <laughs> Clobopus. I have no idea what the fuck this thing is. So we'll move on. Dark Morpeko. Really nice. Yeah, it, from Single Strike. You probably can't see it, but. It's from Single Strike. It's pretty neat. It obviously is a Sword and Shield pack. Morgrim. I don't really know what this thing is either. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on. Barrascuta. I know what Barrascuta is. It looks fucking silly though. Dupiter. What do I what what can I say about Dupiter? Meowth. It's it's a meowth. That's all I need. That's all I can say. Duskull. Creepy Pokedex entry throughout all the games it's in. But pretty badass Pokemon, not gonna lie. Design wise, it's badass. The Cremorant. This thing was goofy. And Shuckle. I, I don't like Shuckle, but I don't hate Shuckle. I hate the people that praise Shuckle, but I also hate the people that hate Shuckle. Shuckle's just really not that interesting to me, honestly. So I'm just. Eh. Horsey. Now, fun little fact about me, the first Pokemon card I ever had in my life was a horsey. Not, not exactly this horsey, but it was a horsey. I might show that off one day. Might not. If I ever get the, the exact, get the horsey I had all those years ago when I was a kid. The first Pokemon card I ever got was a horsey. Back when, you know, Kanto was the only region. Yeah. All the way from back then. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. And we got Monkey. It's Monkey. That's all I have to say. Crushing Gloves. Again, the trainer card. Single Strike Scroll of Scorn. Also from the first strike pack. And then we got Cheryl. I like we only see Cheryl and I think like one part of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which I have. I, we have Brilliant Diamond, so I might do that one day as well. After you know Scarlet and play through Crystal, I might do that one day, but maybe not. I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to do with it yet. If I'm going to do it at all yet. Because again. Still playing through Scarlet. Still got stuff. Just started Crystal. A couple weeks ago. And yeah. And I've got. More games to go through. After that as well. So yeah. On this channel. We've played through Generations 1, 6, 7, and 8. 
Well, I technically didn't do Gen 7. Josh did years ago. I played through, through Gen 6 on the channel, I, but not Gen 7. But regardless, Generation 7 was still complete, so I'm still counting it. Because I was present at the time. Because I was the one recording the, the Gen 7 game. And I was playing Gen 6. So yeah, that leaves generations 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9. But anyways, continuing on. Got Honey. She kind of hot though, not gonna lie. But that's all I've got to say. There's Lucky Energy. Aromatic Energy. Rapid Strike Energy. I'm just blazing through the energies because I've got some energies as well for whatever reason. Lucky energy. Electric energy. Crab brawler. This thing still looks fucking stupid. I don't re exactly remember what I said when we encountered the crab brawler back in Gen 7 when Josh played through that game. Again, I'm not playing through Gen 7 because, one, it's already been done on the channel, even though I wasn't exactly the one that played it. And two, we don't have a 3DS to, like, play it on. I've got the game. We got the games. But you just don't have a 3DS to play it on. Or even a 2DS. And if, even if we did, how often would we play it? E the eShop got shut down for good. Pretty much. I'm pretty sure online play is done. Pokemon Bank might be done as well. So, I really don't know. But, moving on. Got Buizel. Honestly, as a kid, I liked Bu I liked Buizel as a kid. I really did. Again, still haven't done Gen 4 yet. But maybe when I do Brilliant Diamond, if I do Brilliant Diamond, maybe that counts as Gen 4 because it's still technically Sinnoh. And as far as I know, there's like almost no difference is in the games except like maybe new moves, new abilities, items, no stuff like that. Maybe new Pokemon, but otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's still pretty much the exact same games as Diamond and Pearl, and maybe even Platinum. So I don't know. Do you think it would count as Gen Four if I did Brilliant Diamond? Like it, it would still. It's big, essentially just Diamond. But let me know. Cacnea. This all the, after all these years, this thing still looks fucking stupid. Pineco. It's a it's a pinecone. I don't really need to say anything else. It's a pinecone. Epopotis. This thing. This thing looks stupid. Teddy Ursa. I found all of her. Flo Baby, I like Flo Baby. I like Flo Baby. I really do. Underrated Pokemon. It really is. <sighs> Dragon Roller. Don't really care for this Pokemon, so I'm just gonna move on. Bergmite. Again, don't care for this Pokemon. So, yeah. Pumpkaboo. You know I like Pumpkin Boo. So, yeah. Petalil. Another Pokemon I like. The Evolution line of. The full Evolution line. Lilligan especially. I think it was my first playthrough of Ultra Moon. I, I think it was my first playthrough of Ultra Moon. 
I had a litigant and ga renamed give it gave it its French name. I think if it was my first playthrough of Ultra Moon. It's been forever. <laughs> Ultra Moon came out twenty seventeen. Six years ago, so I I haven't and I haven't really played Ultra Moon since I wanna say the summer of 2018. It's been forever. It's been almost five years. <laughs> I'm gonna feed bass. It's 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 a feed bass. It's just fish. Now, Azelf. This is my favorite of the three mythicals between. Azelf, Mass Spirit, and Yuxi. Azelf is my favorite. I I jo went back when I got the copy my copy of Ultra Moon and Josh's copy of Ultra Sun. Back when I got that 2DS all those years ago, which we did a video on. Actually I did two videos on it was the first video was us shopping to get the 2DS, and then the other one, the second one was to was unboxing the 2DS back in 2017 when I got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I got got them both. I Ultra Moon is mine. I still have my data on it, <laughs> like all my shiny Pokemon, my Ultra Beasts, my Legendaries, my team. Literally, fucking, I still have my data. On that. It's insanity, isn't it? And Josh had Ultra Moon. No, not Ultra Moon. I had Ultra Moon. I meant Ultra Sun. Josh had Ultra Sun. I had Ultra Moon. He had beaten the game before I had. And I had, like, hardly any data. I had, like, any... Pro I had hardly any progress on Ultra Moon because... At the time, I was playing Smash 4, like, all the time. As well as playing, like, Pokemon Yellow from Virtual Console as well, my, as the Zelda games I had. So, like, yeah, I wasn't playing much of really anything. And I also had Y, which I still have. I just need to get it back from someone who borrowed it. I just have to get it back. But, yeah. It's been so fucking long. <laughs> Good times, actually. But yeah, again, out of the three, Azelf is my favorite. And now we got the normal Morpeko. Yeah, I've got one of version of each Morpeko, which is really fucking cool. And if you remember... Actually, no, you don't remember. Because Morpeko was what I had on my team. My first playthrough of Sword, which was what I do, did on my own time and everything. You know, back before I moved on, moved over back to this channel. Because I was using my other one, you know, before I got cancelled. Don't worry, video about the. Don't worry. I will be making something about that later on. So. Stay tuned for that video. <laughs> that it, that's gonna be a pain in the ass for me to work on too. But yeah, we got Steeny. Like it's Steeny. I like Steeny. Again, I've already mentioned I love Serena. I like the Bounce with Evolution Line. Period. Dragonair, my absolute favorite Pokemon ever. Dragonair. Why is it my favorite Pokemon when its design is so plain, boring, and simple? It's a fucking dragon snake. That's two of my favorite things ever. A dragon snake. I don't care if the design is plain or simple. Like, it's a fucking dragon snake that can fly, dude. Fly and swim. That is badass. Okay, without even wings, it can fly. Like, that is awesome. <laughs> mm. 
got Dratini. It's 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 basically just baby dragon there. So yeah. And got Dragonite. Dragonite. <laughs> what can I say about Dragonite really? That hasn't been said by anybody. It's Dragonite. <laughs> and Sobble. Sob Wait a minute. This is the 25th anniversary Sobble. I just noticed that. Huh. But yeah. My first playthrough of Sword I had, I I did on my own time. I chose Sobble as my starter. So, yeah. Sobble, my favorite of the three starters in Galar. The only one I really like, honestly. The only reason I chose Grookey is because I didn't have a Grookey. In Sword. So. Or it's Evolution. So, yeah. Tapu Fini. My favorite of the four Tapus. Tapu Lili. Being my f second favorite. So, favorite. My Tapus from favorite to least favorite. Fini first. Lili second. Coco third. And Bulu, my least favorite. But yeah. The un the Unified Minds box, which I actually have right here, in fact. There's like there's no Pokemon cards in here, there's Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But Yeah. See? Unified Minds. I got it from this box. So, yeah, I would, it's considering Fini is my favorite of the Tapus. This is a promo Tapu Fini. Huh. Good to know. Nidorina. It's Nidorina. My number one. Favorite gr poison type. Like. Nidorina is an underrated Pokemon. Hell. Poison is an underrated type. Period. Like. Give Nidorina more love. People. Come on. We got Curlia. I'm obviously. I had one of these in Scarlet. It, here's Ralts as well. Yeah. I have Curly and Ralts. I have Gardevoir and Scarlet now. But, so, yeah. It's cool. We got Alolan Vulpix. I love Vulpix. I really do. Vulpix is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Like, normal Vulpix, and hell, even a Alolan Vulpix I like. I I just like Vulpix. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're gonna like this card. Shiny Azumarill. Yeah, the Water Fairy mat, mat Mix. Shine. This is shiny. Sh this is shiny Azumarill, by the way. Yeah, Azumarill and shiny. For those who don't know, is yellow. And I do have an Azumarill in Scarlet. Not a shiny Azumarill, but I do have an Azumarill in Scarlet. Azumarill again. One number one of my favorite Pokemon. Believe it or not. Ampharos, love this evolution line. I love Marie. You know, speaking of, I have the entire evolution line. I have the entire evolution line, like, right next to each other. 
I'm not sure if I did that on purpose or it's just a coincidence, but hell. What's your favorite of the... What's your favorite form of the... Or Pokemon from the Mareep Evolution line? Mine, personally, is Flaffy. Flaffy's my favorite of the three evolutions, so... Yeah. Oh, I got Plusle. <laughs> I, again, I like Plusle and Minin. I like them both. Not a big fan of Generation 3, honestly. But I like Plusle and Minin. And fuck, you know I like Gardevoir. Because obviously it's in... my. It's on my Scarlet team. It's... I'm pretty sure it's also in my Definitives team in Pokemon Sword as well. If I remember correctly. I'll probably I'll have to look. But anyways, moving on. Alolan Ninetales. That is a beautiful card. Like that again, that's a beautiful card. I like it. Again, I like Ninetales as well. I like Vulpix and Ninetales. Even the original versions. But then the look they got Alolan forums and they look absolutely fucking beautiful. Alright, so next up, we got Breaks. Look at that Breaks, dude. <laughs> that is awesome. Also, if you've been around since the beginning of this channel back in 2015, when, you know, I wasn't exactly the best person in the world. Like, I was. An awful person back then. Because, <laughs> again, I was 16 years old. I was a teenager. So, I was exactly the best person in the world. I sat there but I also wasn't, you know, the most sane person. <laughs> and I normally don't use this word often. But I was also pretty cringy back then. And I can kind of consider myself a Brakeson. Yeah. But, again. So, yeah, I've, I have this Brakeson. Again. I'm, I'm completely fucking different now. Like, it's crazy. Also, if you want to watch me react to some of my old videos, let me know. I'll gladly do it. That way you can see how fucking different things have got have gotten over the years. You got Sonia. If you see my sword playthrough, you know I love Sonia. So I don't need to say anything. It's Sonia. If you saw my sword playthrough, you know. Erica's hospitality. My second favorite gym leader in Kanto. Erica. I like grass types, so I kind of figured. Yeah, I like Erica. A pussy art's really fucking nice. I actually like Erica. Like, she wasn't a good character in the anime. She was kind of a bitch in the anime, kind of. But I can understand. But as an adult, I can understand where she was coming from. So, yeah. And my favorite gym leader in Kanto, Sabrina. Why is Sabrina my favorite gym leader in Kanto? Well, excluding the f fact that she's hot. Psychic type, Psychic is my favorite type, period. Despite, you know, my favorite Pokemon being a dragon type, Dragonair. Psychic is my favorite type overall. So, it made sense that Sabrina would be my favorite gym leader in Kanto. Speaking of psychic types, I've got a few here. Here's my Gardevoir. Yeah, this Gardevoir I bought a year ago on my birthday. Yeah, my 23rd birthday a year ago. I bought this Gardevoir. In fact, hold on. 
I I bought the Gardevoir along with the my Egyptian gods, my Palladium Oracle Mana, Yu-Gi-Oh card, and as well as a couple other things. Got this Gardevoir, some other card, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and this a Alice Margaretroid statue. Yeah, I bought these literally on my the night of my birthday. I bought them on my birthday. This came like two days after I ordered it. I, I got Dust Alice's dress off after this video. But yeah. Obviously, like I said, and you've seen, I have Gardevoir on my Scarlet team as well as probably my definitive. Pokemon team period which I haven't sold and it only made sense I got a Gardevoir card which is what the Gardevoir link trainer card was for because I have Gardevoir so it made sense which means I just need Mega Gardevoir that's going to be costly though <laughs> Meow stick. Again. One of my favorite Pokemon, period, as well. Meow stick. The, well, the female Meow stick, I should say. In fact. Got a female Meow stick plush right here. Straight from Pokemon Center. In fact. Yeah, I got this. I got this meow stick two years ago on my for my birthday. Got it two years ago. Kept it ever since. And yeah, I'm honestly really fucking happy. I've had this, and I I've taken good care of this meow stick too. Like, it's 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 still clean. Like, it's clean. The only problem is, you know, the little tag is a little bent. But, that's not really my fault. It bent in the shipping because it came like this. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking of... There's a little paper mache that Ampharos. I didn't. I did not make this myself. My sister actually made this. It had nowhere to put it, so I'm thought, you know what? I'll take it. It clears up more space in your room. Plus, again, I like the, I like the Mareep Evolution line, so I took this Ampharos. She did a really good job. Of course, it's like dusty and stuff. Because it sits on top of my entertainment center where my TV is and everything. So yeah, of course, it's bound to get collect dust. But yeah, it looks really fucking good. It's really good. Yeah, that's my meow stick. <laughs> now this is a, one of my favorite Pokemon as well, ever as well. Meloetta. Yeah, Meloetta. I have a Meloetta in Ultra Moon, level one hundred. <laughs> I I think I traded. I forgot what I traded for my Meloetta in Ultra Moon. The, well, the Meloetta I have, I traded for. I forgot what it, what I traded. 
to get that metal order. I think it was a fled. I think it was a fledgling. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, if you know me and have seen my older like Smash Bros videos of like brawl and stuff, you know when I was playing Zelda, you would know I played Jigglypuff. I still use Jigglypuff in Smash Bros. In Ultimate, Smash 4, Smash 64 even, Melee, Brawl. I still use Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is still one of my favorite characters to use in those games. And also the only character I use in all of them. So, yeah. And for that, Jigglypuff, again, also one of my favorite Pokemon. Speaking of Vulpix, there's normal Vulpix. <laughs> yeah, again, I've already talked enough about Vulpix, so I'm just going to move on. Frostlass. I... Look at that art. That art is beautiful. Got some scratches on it, but hey. Still good condition. Frostlass, really underrated Pokemon. I like Frostlass. I don't like Snorunt, but I do like Frostlass. So, yeah. Frostlass, I had on uh, my first playthrough of the original Pokemon Moon. Yeah, yeah. Frostlass is one of the Pokemon I had in my original playthrough of Pokemon Moon. I still have the exact Frostlass in Ultra Moon, by the way. <laughs> I still have it, as well as my level 100 Meow Stick, and a couple others, so, yeah, I still got it. Cutie Fly, I'm not sure what I can really say about Cutie Fly, like, I'm not sure what I can say. Carbink, one Pokemon. From my second favorite Pokemon movie, the Diancy movie. Diancy movie was fucking amazing. I watched it the night it premiered on T Cartoon Network all those years ago. I watched it the night it premiered both times, as well as many times after that. Like, it was that good of a Pokemon movie. My favorite Pokemon movie is going to be a shocker to you, I'm pretty sure. But it's actually the power of us. The power of us is really fucking good. Mostly because, you know, I liked the female lead in Power of Us. I loved the female lead in Power of Us. She's actually a good character. Like she she was. And Hop It. It's it's a Hop It. What can what can I say about it? Shinotic. This thing looks like a fucking discount shroomish. <laughs> got another Bregson? Yeah, I've got two. But this one's not shiny. It's a nice Bregson, though. I like the art. And Fennekin. My favorite of the, all the fire starters. And pretty much the only one I really care about, honestly. Like, sure, I like type, I like Cyndaquil, obviously, because Johto is my favorite ge region. Gen 2 is my favorite generation. I like ty Cyndaquil. I like Charmander, despite Charizard being extremely fucking overrated. Therefore, lowering its popularity. But out of the fire starters, Fennekin is my favorite. I have my two favorite starters. And speaking of Fennekin, I got this little guy from Pokemon Center, I think it was, back in 2016. 
literally Halloween day of 2016. And I remember getting, I, yeah, yes, I remember the exact day I got it. It was Halloween of 2016. I got this thing. And I've had it ever since. That was seven years ago. Almost. <laughs> it would, it would be, it will be seven years on Halloween. And obviously, I've taken, I've kept it safe, taken great care of it since, and yeah, looking good. It unfortunately doesn't have the tag because I ripped it off. It it is from Pokemon Center. It is from Pokemon Center. So yeah. I guess I removed the tag when I got it. Sucks, but hey, at least I got Fennekin. And while I'm over here, I may as well show this off. You remember this from my sword playthrough, right? Yeah, <laughs> I got a plush. I also had Espeon and Sylveon, but my sister's got the Syl so One of them's got my sister's got them both. One's got Sylveon, the other's got Espeon. I kept this one. And the funny story when I got these plushies. Almost like five years ago, again, almost five years ago. Like next month, I think it'll be five years. But five years ago, when I got these evolution plushies, the three of them, they're going to, they were supposed to be like 12 bucks or so at Walmart. I got them for like 79 cents somehow. Yeah, I don't know either. I somehow got the three evolution plushies for like under three bucks. Yeah, under three bucks, I got the three evolution plushies, even though they were supposed to be like twelve bucks a piece. I don't know how it happened. It just kind of happened. It was f it is fucking funny. You know, as you can see, the tag is still on it. And if you watch my Unite videos, this is another Pokemon I use. Along with, you know, Serena and Gardevoir. The Serena, Gardevoir, and this thing are my three main ones I use in Unite. Also, one of, another one of my favorite Pokemon as well. Which is why I kept this one for myself. Unfortunately, I don't have a card. I don't have a Glaceon card, but I do have a plush, so that's what matters. God damn. And another one of my favorite evolution lines and favorite Pokemon, Altaria. Yeah. Look at that Altaria. It's fucking beautiful. 2016. God damn. It's got Sylvia on the art. I just know. Of and Denny. Of all the times I've seen this card, I have never noticed Sylvia and Denny in the art. I never have. But yeah, Altaria. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. I got two Kecleon, one shiny, one not. Kecleon's just a fucking chameleon. A cactus chameleon. That's all it is. I have no idea what's going on in there, but I apologize. <laughs> you got an energy, just whatever. A Caterpie. Now, there's a story to this Caterpie as well. 
Well, we moved in this house almost five years ago. My buddy Raiden found this Caterpie, and I had Pokemon. He knew I had Pokemon cards, and so he's like, "Hey, I." He messaged me one day. He's like, "Hey, I found this Caterpie out in the parking lot in the McDonald's at the time he worked at McDonald's. Not sure if he still does." But at the time he worked at McDonald's, found this Caterpie, and he messaged me that day, and it's like, "Hey, I got, I found this Caterpie outside in the parking lot of McDonald's. Do you want it?" And I said, "I said, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take it. I, I don't mind. I like Caterpie. I'll take it." And here it is. It's still happy. Yeah, I'm, I've got a lot of stories, too. <laughs> but um, this is how many cards I've got left. Not that many. So, but, yeah. Next up. A Q-Bone. I feel bad for this Q-Bone. Because you got a mom with her... I want to say... Son? Or daughter? But yeah, you got a mom with her child. And then she's got fucking Q-Bone. That's fucked up. That thing, That's fucked up. <laughs> you got Acerola. My favorite... I forgot what it was. I forgot what they were called in the Lola. And they're not gym leaders. I, but, I mean, to be fair, Acerola was one of the Elite Four. So, I mean, technically, I could call her an Elite Four member. But she's not my favorite Elite Four member in the Lola. Kahili is. Which I don't have a card for. Lily does. I don't. But. Yeah. The combi. It's literally just the honey combi. I like the evolution line. Don't get me wrong. I do. It's just not that interesting of a Pokemon. But I do like it though. Carrot Blast. I. I have no idea what to say about this. Like, I don't like Carablast, but I also don't hate Carablast. It's weird. Fletchling? Yeah, don't ask. I have... I remember what the stain is. I remember the stain. I was eating, like... I was drinking, like, chocolate milk while, like, looking at my cards one day. And I kind of accidentally like spit some of the chocolate milk on the card, and that's what the stain is. But yeah, I've got Fletchling. I killed that fucking adapter. Cricket Tot. It's fucking hideous. So I'm moving on. Got the Wismer Evolution line. Looking goofy. Just not, inter not interesting, though, unfortunately. Got another Meowth. Just chilling. It's pretty cool. Jigglypuff. Neater female Nidoran. My favorite of the two Nidoran. The art's good too. I like it. Here's my second. F Here's my absolute favorite starter. Chikorita. Again, I chose Chikorita for my in my playthrough of Crystal. Because obviously. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that Chikorita is my favorite starter. So yeah, like I said, I've got my two favorite starters. Chikorita is my favorite. Fanakin is my second favorite starter. And on top of this Chikorita, 
I've got bay leaf. Look at that bay leaf. That is so fucking pretty. I like bay leaf. Intrigue. Got Charmeleon. What can I really say about Charmeleon that hasn't been said? It's literally in Charm the pre evolution of Charm Charizard, so or I should say Chazad. Why do I say Chazad? Because it's fun to say. And got another Fletchling. Now you're that's not all. I've still got two more cards to show off. Yeah, two more cards to show off. And the original... Early 2000 Chikorita. Yeah, you can tell it's an old card. Which is why I got it in a sleeve. It's old. So... Yeah, I, t I take I I've taken care of it obviously. So, yeah, I'm yeah. Lil, my sister had to trade a, some pretty good cards as well as a good amount of those cards to get this thing for just for me. Which adds to the fact that I m makes me love it and have to take care extra care of it. So yeah, and obviously I have, <laughs> and this. Out of all the cards I've shown off in this video, out of all my Pokemon cards, this thing is the oldest one I own currently. I'm not talking like release wise. I'm talking I have had it in my possession. This is the oldest one I own in my possession from 2013. This was the start of XY. And it's a full art Emolga. Look at that. That is fucking beautiful. I kind of want to get it graded. I kind of do want to get it graded. But I'm not sure if getting it graded would be a good idea. Because if you you can't really tell from very well from the front. But in the from the back, yeah, you can see it's not exactly in the best condition. But other than that, I have taken care of it. Because again, this is an old card. That's been moved around several times since I've had it and everything. I'm not sure if it... I don't remember if it came like this or... It somehow got bent on accident. I don't remember. Because I've had this card for years at this point. And... Yeah. It was... This is also, this is another card my sister had to trade years ago. To, a good amount cards are really good cards to get. Therefore, making it even more special and making me having to take care of it even more than I already would have. But, yeah. With that said, god damn, it's been almost an hour. Wow. But, yeah. That's, honestly, all the Pokemon cards I currently own as of right now. I've shown off my Yu-Gi-Oh! card collection, I've, and now I've shown off my Pokemon card collection. And, and my Pokemon plushies collection as well. But, yeah. And I told some story, really good stories. Some stories that bring me good memories. It's this is just a fun video to make. I know it was a little longer. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but you know, good trip down memory lane. And I kind of did promise you 
a special Pokemon video, and here it was. But <laughs> these cards are absolutely fucking special to me, especially this old Molga and Chikorita. These two is are extremely special to me. This especially is really special to me. So honestly, I feel like it should be kept in the sleeve, put in front, and put in one of these. Because it's that special to me. Because again, it's the oldest card I currently own. Again, not talking release wise. Talking I've had for the longest. This is the oldest one I own in that regard. But the oldest card I own release wise is this Chikorita. But yeah, it's extra protected now. This is the sleeve. Here's the card. It's extra protected now. But yeah, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my stories down from memory lane and all this stuff from over the years. It's time really fucking flies. Like it really does. And you know, I've still got the game. I've still I've got my Game Boy Advance, my copy of Pokemon Yellow. I got back in well the game. The copy of Pokemon Yellow I got back in junior year, and the Game Boy Advance I got back in eighth grade. It's it's just fantastic. Wow, it's goddamn! It's five forty-seven. But yeah, thank you for watching, listening to my stories, and everything. Is this was a good video to make? Again, didn't expect it to be this long, but hey, it's worth it, honestly. And I honestly love making long videos like this. Because you get to learn more about me as a person, who I am, what I'm into, how I, what I grew up with, how I grew up, and all that stuff. So, you get to learn more about me as a person when watching videos like this. Because it's not me making like jokes, being stupid with my buddies or whatever in the game. This, well, that's, that's still me, of course. Like, that's not fake. That's not an act. That's not me playing the character. That's still me. But videos like this, you get to, like, know me as a person. Not someone, not something to, like, make you laugh or whatever. You, Videos like this, you get to know who learn who I am as a person, which is why I love making videos like this. And honestly, you will get more like this in the future. I can guarantee that because again, I love making videos like this. I really do. It's wow. It's just so. It's just. Nice, like it is. Like, I love making videos like this. But yeah, anyways, I kept you long enough. I want to thank you for watching this whole thing. If you did, let me know what you thought, and in the comments. And yeah, I'm just gonna. I gotta edit this together, together, upload it, and I'm gonna think for a little while. And I'll just see you next time in the next video. Not exactly sure what it's gonna be yet, but oh yeah, I, I know what it's gonna be. I, in fact, I have the video done right now. Like it's it's been, I have the footage. 
saved. I have it edited together. I'm just waiting for tomorrow to upload it. So I do know what it is. It's done. I'm done with that video. Working on that video. It's just, I'm just waiting to upload it tomorrow. But yeah, see you in that video.